What's going on, everyone? This is Sheets, and we're going to be doing the lineup construction video for UFC 300. And again, what we're going to be focusing in on is exclusively how to build lineups to win the the 150 max uh, big big tournament. And again, the the hope is that these types of videos will help you in other sports and other MMA slates and things like that. Um, but with MMA, it's it's there's such a difference between you know just knowing who the good plays are and actually building lineups that have a chance to win the most amount of money uh, in in this particular tournament. So I'm going to go over some ideas um, of how to use the tools at our disposal and the knowledge at our disposal. But you know we're we're going to try to dispense with the recap of who the best plays are as much as possible. I mean, if you want a quick recap, I mean. Zhang Wei Li is is the best play uh, by probably a lot. Max Holloway probably the best one of the best plays probably by a lot. And then you have Bo Nickel, just extraordinary metrics there. Um, and then you have Jalen Turner. I mean Jalen Turner really really strong inside the distance line. Then you have kind of the the, the blend of like the money line and the takedown upside and the, and the price thing with, with Jessica Andraj. She's like a very very strong play as well. And then even within the within the mid range, Yuri is is obviously the preferred play to to Rockich given the upside. And then even and then obviously the main round, the other you know five round fights, the Hill fight is is probably good from a cash perspective. I don't know exactly how much upside it has in GPPs. Um, and and you have your natural pivots. You know, the, the Figgy is perfectly fine in a vacuum at 9,100, but it's just not quite as good as guys around him. You have Sterling, who's perfectly fine in a vacuum at 8,400 with his takedown upside. That looks pretty good too. You have Diego Lobes, perfectly fine in a vacuum with his inside the distance line. So these, these are obviously the good plays. And then some semi- you know, obvious underdogs, you know, Charles Oliveira always has the upside and probably be somewhat popular. Jim Miller is going to look pretty good. And then, um, and even Moicano to some degree, but let, let's, let's, let's talk about this for a second before we start building. So the Moicano play is something you really have to respect here because Jalen Turner is, is really showing up as an extremely good play. And whenever that happens, you have to really consider the underdog, uh, the, the opponent. Um, because if you can get leverage against what's going to be an obvious play um, with a play that that is pretty good, that's that's really something that you you want to focus in on. So Moicano himself looks pretty good. So even though Moicano is not as good a play as some of the others, the fact that you'll get that he's good enough and you get leverage against an extremely good play is, is something you really have to respect in GPPs and specifically in MMA when you're looking for direct leverage, you know, against an actual fighter. Okay. So with that said, I mean, like, if you want to do something like really primitive before we get into the Saberson stuff here, I mean, this is this is like like 2017 DFS, but you could argue for this if you didn't want to get into into the weeds here. You could say, you know, you could go max, you know, one of those old like RGHQ rules, like max one of like Zhang, Nickel, Holloway, and Turner. For example, you do max one of those that'll naturally get you diff get you not that your ownership is not going to be that high, but you know again that's that's just you know it's very primitive. It's certainly not as technical uh, as as using the Sims and doing other kind of stuff. But that is definitely something that you could do, right? The next thing that I want, I just want to double check again, just, just to take a look at my ownerships that we're going to be basing all this on, which I think are actually pretty good this week. Um, first of all, as far as raw projections, I mean, this is no big deal. You know, this is a pretty, it's pretty sound, these projections. The ownership, if we sort by ownership, we're, we're, we're presuming Zhang Weili about 50%, which makes sense. And then Holloway, and then the guys I mentioned, Nickel. Um, not as much on the Jalen Turner, which is interesting. Um and more on Sarukin than I would have imagined because I would have thought that Oliveira was going to be, would, would get more steam. So maybe this is a little high. And maybe Oliveira down here 
And I only have Oliveira at sixteen percent. I think that's reasonable. Maybe a little more. Maybe you get him up to twenty or something like that. And maybe Moicano. It's not as fancy, you know, of a not as as, as slick of a play as I think it is. And maybe it's going to get up to above twenty. I guess that makes some sense. So aside from that, I think the ownerships are pretty pretty solid. The one decision that you have to make on this slate, well, a bunch of them. Number one, if you want to X anybody out, my answer is always no. Okay, don't X anybody out. If you get to guys, you get to them. If you don't get to them, to get to them. But I don't like to manually X out anybody, at least in the main build. You could do some like funny stuff, you know, with with if you want to do like builds with just guys you like or girls you like. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to ways to do that. It may be a little bit later. Um. But the one decision that you do have to make on every card, but specifically on this one, is whether to allow stacks when you make your builds. I almost never allow the the optimizers or the or the sims or whatever to make stacks um, in the big GPP. It's just so rare that they're that they get there. Okay. But in this particular card, the 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 Gaethje Holloway fight specifically is just set up for a lot of outcomes where both fighters get there. Just because you know you have fought two pretty you know high volume strikers that don't like to get knocked out, so you might get five rounds of just insane volume. Um. So what I did was I did two separate builds just to see what it looks like. One with no stacks and one with stacks allowed. And just to see um, what I want to do. Um, but I'm inclined. I actually don't know what I'm inclined to do. You know, I, I'm sort of inclined to just let the, let the optimizers just kind of guide me and allow the stacks and then basically just not look <laughs> to see, see what I get. But just to give you a, 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 a difference, uh, the differentiation. So we ran, we already ran the regular Saber symbol with no stacks and stacks allowed. And we're, we're going to, we're, we're going to get to the, the MMA default is where we usually start, but we're going to start with the regular kind of like pure, you know, uh, Saber sim build, which has upside and, and plays the best plays also. It does account for ownership somewhat, but this is not usually what gets you to, you know, the, single single biggest winner you know taking it down by yourself but gets you some good lineups this is the sim diversity 10 setting and when i put no stacks just to show you what you get you get about 70 percent zhang 49 percent holloway and let me see gaichi so and gaichi of uh, 24 i say that because i want to see if you end up getting like a like more than 100 if you allow the stacks and these are just like the good plays. I mean, I mentioned this, right? Wiley, Holloway, Nickel, Hill. Well, not Hill. Where's Turner and Turner? So, and, and Andrade. Like all the guys I mentioned that are top plays are all in here as top owned. Makes sense. Let's take a look at what it looks like with stacks allowed. Um, and again, not MMA default, but let's look at the uh, Sim Diversity 10. Um, and let's see if there's a big difference here. Well, one difference when you allow stacks, let's just see. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same, you know, 51% Holloway. And then, well, where's Gaethje in this, in this setup? This is interesting. Gaethje all the way down here. Now, the one thing I want to do is I want to look and see where I allow the stacks, how many I actually get. So one way you could do that, there's no stack setting here, but what you can do is you do this, you click on Holloway. And then you click on Gaethje to see if there's any Gaethje's in here. And there are, doesn't look like there are any. Yep. So even though we allowed for the possibility to have stacks, we're not getting in. Okay. Which is, uh, which is, you know, that, that is, uh, what's, what's interesting is, is why this discrepancy then in the ownerships. So let's just see again. So, Wiley 73, 51, 49, 47. And with no stacks, we would have 71. I guess it's not that big of a difference, right? Let's just see again. By exposures. 
it's it's pretty much the same, but let me just see. I thought I had more Harrison in this in this setup here. No, I really didn't. Stacks a lot, 73, 51, 49, 47. No stacks. So it's not it's not too big of a difference. So I guess the decision is 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 does it matter which which set we use? Let let's 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 continue to use the stacks allowed, you know, just in case when we play a particular setting, we would get to them because I do want to allow for them. Okay, we use the same projections in both, the same ownership in both, right? Just make sure of that. Uh, yeah. So let's now take a look at the um at the other settings that we can that we can that we can deal with here before we run the sims let's take a look at our old favorite the mma default now again for those of you that are watching this for the first time because it's ufc 2300 whatever the mma default setting in saber sim is just about the most aggressive setting that there is and the reason for that is if you you know go you know dive into this under mma default you look at the formula, it is stressing the, so its formula is 0.5 times some of my projections plus 0.5 times the 99th percentile of the line. Okay? The 99th percentile outcome. And when you compare that to, say, the sim diversity setting, that is actually, has nothing to do with the 99th percentile. It's the sum of my projections just plus just plus a little bit of dinging for the average ownership. So the MMA default is really the the you want to win this by yourself, you know, and you want to only prioritize everybody's top the, the lab's top outcomes. This is where you go. Um and because there are some pretty obvious bits of chalk, and because there are three five round pounds, I I, I do want to put like a decent amount of exposure into this setting, okay? So again, it's it's an art, not a science. So I, I don't know how much to do here. You could argue to put all 150. I mean, honestly. Um, but I, I you know, I, I don't I don't think I think that's a little bit too aggressive. Now the thing is the other thing that I'm, that you're that you're noticing I'm not I'm not checking to see who we have I'm I'm actually not interested in that okay that that's if you get into that then you're not using the sims to your advantage and you're not using these these tools to your advantage you're using then your biases you've already put your biases in when you put your projections in okay like that those you've already done the work on who you like when the projections get put in so. You should argue that that you really don't want to look and see who you have. Now, again, I know that that's you're like you got to be kidding, you know. But but that really is the reality of, of the of this of using these particular tools. Um, and I that's what I've been doing recently. I really haven't been looking to see who I have. So the first thing I want to do is I'm, I am going to play fifty lineups using the MMA default settings. And my only question is whether I go min uniques one or min uniques two or something like that. Um, my issue with going way too many min uniques is that you're already getting like the real bottom of the barrel in your 5,000, right? And you don't want to go too much. <laughs> so I, I might even just do min uniques two, if anything. Okay. So let's, let's do that then. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these 50 and we're going to save these somewhere. Now we can either save them to our favorites or we could use our kind of no dupes tool and we'll kind of combine them all together. So let's do that. Let, let's let's um, save these to a file and we have to call these uh, something. So we'll call it MMA default 11 uh, and what, time, what day is it? The 13th? Well, let's just call it this way I'll, I'll remember what it is. But in case it gets lost somewhere. So MMA, and we're just going to call this uh, default 50, because it's MMA default 50. And then we'll, we'll, we'll put the time, 11, 10 a.m. Okay, there it is. Default 50. Okay. All right. Um, 
ne the next uh, batch that I want to do is going to be based on the contest sims. So so let let's 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 put those in. So the first thing that I did is I changed these settings. I think yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna presume that these that this field of 5,000 that we built, remember not just the MMA default, now we're just going back to like to all of them, right? The 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 5,000 lineups that we built is going to be the, they're just going to be the pool of lineups that the, that the, um that the field plays. Okay. And I think it's reasonable. I think it's a reasonable estimate of what the field is going to play. Um, So let's run a SIM for, we're focusing on the 150. And then we're going to compare our set to the full 5,000. And then it's we're going to rank, you know, we're going to rank them based on how they do against that set, um, based on risk-adjusted ROI. And then we're going to figure out how many of them to play, okay? Um, so this is doing a little better with respect to getting unique than just regular sim diversity because we are – Factoring in how they compare, you know what I mean, to the field of lineups. So we're going to put in UFC special, risk-adjusted ROI, and now we get this set, okay? Um, so the question is, again, going to be how many of these do we play, okay? Okay. Um, now, the the problem with this kind of set, okay, I know it's going to sound weird, but like even though we're comparing these to our own thing and we're doing sims and you're you're trying to fade, you still, in my experience, don't get the same the degree of uniqueness that you might need. The good news is we already have fifty lineups that are 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 going for the throat, okay, so to speak. Okay. Um, so the question is, is how aggressive do you want to be, be, you know, like the more of these you play, the less aggressive you're being, because this is, I don't want to say chalky. They're, 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 they, they have upside. Okay. But you're not really winning 200,000 with that many of these. Um, uh, but I think that when you're dealing with a portfolio of lineups, I think it's okay to play some of these. Um, now, we could argue that at this point, we might want to try to do some salary business, you know? I mean, if we're just going to go with, you know, just the straight Sims, we might want to make some, some salary adjustments where you don't use all of your salary. And I think that that makes some sense um as a matter of fact if we did that that wouldn't be such a bad idea so let's do that so but we have to figure out how much we want to leave so let's let's think of a couple of, of key numbers here i mentioned that max holloway was 7400 and he was going to be really popular so what i want to do is i want to look and see like who's kind of near him like um I want to. I want to. I want to use Holloway in lineups that leave money on the table. Okay. Um, so I mean, what I could do is isolate the just the Holloway lineups and leave money on the table. I certainly could do that. That's actually kind of tough to do, and that takes a lot of work. So I'm not going to do that. What we're going to do is is take a look at at like where Holloway's competition is like just above him so and i want to look at the just the raw projections i'm going to get to to why in a minute so here's holloway at 64 points diego lopes is 1100 more and he's only one point higher i mean what i'm looking for is for someone who's clearly rated higher than him that people are going to get to and and unfortunately, we're we're looking at maybe Andraj. That's like the closest we can get, you know. Um, 
So I think at the least, what you want to do is leave 700 on the table, specifically in Holloway lineups. Um, so I guess we could do that. You know, if we're going to be spending the rest of the of, of the 100 lineups just on, on this, well, or why don't we just leave 700 to, on the table for all of it? I mean, that's not the end of the world, right? Let's do that for 50 lineups. I think that's a good idea. So so let's, um, uh, and what I want to do is I don't want to rebuild with the 700. I want to go right from here, okay? Um, I want to at least start with these. I, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get to um, 700. I, I hope I'm going to get to 50 of them that leave 700 on the table. I think I should, but let's see. Um. Okay, salary, less than, is it less than 49.3? No, it's less than 49.4, right? Be less than 49.4. Okay, we get there. Oh, absolutely, no problem. So all these leave 49, leave 700 on the table, which uh, I think is kind of, which is kind of good, okay? Um, so this way, when you get Holloway, you're you're gonna also gonna be, you're you're gonna get. How do I describe this? We're trying to trick the optimizers that we're competing against to play Andrade in these lineups because Andrade is also gonna be pretty popular. I think just because the 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 median projection of of Andrade is like two points higher. Um. I, I don't even know if this is enough. You know, I, I might argue that you need to get all the way up to like Pahea at 70 points to make sure, which means that you'd have to leave 900 on the table. Well, I mean, if we really want to go for this, you know what we could do? We'll play 50 leaving 700 on the table and then 50 leaving 900 on the table and split the difference. Let's just see. Let, let's just see if we can leave 900 on the table. Let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, we still have 50 other lines that we can play. So let, let's let's change this filter. We're going to say less than 49,200. Uh, oh, it's not really letting... Oh, yeah, it's letting us get there. I think this is fine. Okay, good. So uh, we're going to... Now, do we want to get tricky? You want to play Minion Uniques too? I don't think we need to. I think that we're I think we're already asking for trouble. So let's then um let's save these and we're going to call this 49,100. Save as recent. And we're going to call this uh 49 or 49 yeah, 49,100 50 lineups. Good. Okay. Okay. So we're 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 playing this thing pretty pretty aggressively already. Uh, we're not playing any lineups yet that are the the quote unquote the good lineups. We're and we're only down to fifty, which I think is I think it's I really think it's fine on this on this slate. And I haven't even looked at who see we have, which is probably a good idea. So for the last fifty lineups, we have a couple of ways we can go. If we wanted, we could go all full on geo mean filtering. And what that does is just just force like low ownership and like try to force the idea of getting unique. The one thing that I have found though, if you do that, remember geo mean is kind of like a product. And what you're going to end up getting is when you have one guy like Cody Brundage who is like that much lower owned than everybody else that you're going to get almost all of your lineups with him in that setting, because it's, that's the easiest way to get to, um, to get to the geo mean is, especially when you're multiplying <laughs> it is, is to just take the lowest owned fighter. And I don't think that that's the purpose. And that's the real quest of using the geo mean stuff. So with MMA, I'm kind of off of that whole concept, unless 
I want to get into the weeds of doing stuff like, okay, well, why don't I just do that? But just X out Cody Brundage or by only playing X amount of Cody Brundage. Uh, once again, I think that's getting biases too far into this. Um, so we're, we're back at this point of what do we do with the last 50? Okay. It, we What we could do is we could play another 50 that leave 700 on the table. And again, what that's doing is we're probably going to get duped. So we'll have to filter those out. Um, but maybe there's a couple of lineups that left 700, 800 on the table that I would have wanted that I'm not going to get. So why don't we do that? Let's let's do that. I think it's actually a good idea. Let's um do another filter. And we're going to go uh, salary. Uh, we're going to go, this one we're going to less than 49,000, uh, what did we say, 400? Right, less than 49,400. And now what we're going to do is what was going to say. Well, we're going to we're going to download these. We're going to call these forty nine thousand four hundred. Or yep, so actually forty nine thousand three hundred. We're going to call this uh, forty nine thousand three hundred. And then 50 lineups and do this. Okay. All right. So what's going to be interesting then is how many crossovers we have. Like how many of the 49,300s match with the 49,100s. But fortunately, we have this dupe uh, analyzer to figure that out. And then when we do that, we'll be able to see how many more lineups we have to play with. Okay. Um, okay. So let's pull this up. This um, where is this? The dupe calculator, which is on the site, by the way, now, or is it? No, it's not. I put it in the Discord. Um, and and you could download it, but but that's that's all you could do with it. All right, so let's uh, let's put these lineups in this dupe uh, analyzer. So let's start. I guess we'll start with what we we know we're playing. So let's start with the um, that first um, the default the eleven ten a.m. one. So let's let's get those. Okay. So that's these fifty. Boom, and then we're gonna put in. The forty nine thousand one hundreds from the Sims. Then we're going to put in the forty nine thousand three hundreds. And the question is, how many total lineups? How many total different lineups are we going to get from this one fifty set? And this kind of tool, have this macro where it'll do this, remove all the duplicates and leave me with whatever's left. As you see like here, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of these duplicate duplicate ones. So what we do, what we have are 132. So we have 18 lineups left to play with. So what we could do, is we could play, you know, 18 just kind of regular lineups um, with without any of these this this salary filtering and without playing this MMA default stuff. Or we could just continue to go for the throat, you know, and play 18 with some geo mean filtering, you know. Um, so or the other thing we could do is if we like the MMA default settings, but we want to make sure we get the guys that we like we could X out guys that we don't like and then just rerun these with the MMA default settings. Like for example, okay, let's go back to uh, MMA default. Take the, the filter out. This is MMA default. Uh, and then let's just, let's just cut off the guys that I don't like. So, so I don't want to play. I don't like Brundage. I don't like Cody. I don't like Holly. I don't like Jan. 
I like Oliveira, him. I don't like Qatar. Don't like Yusuf, Marina, Rakic. Uh, Yuri's kind of fishy, but whatever. Fine, 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 fine. Bobby Green, I don't like. I don't like. Uh, I was gonna say I don't like the Pahea side, but you have to respect that 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 fight. Uh, Gaethje, Saruki, and Harris. You know, so all these guys I like. So let's apply. Let's X out all of these guys. And now what we have are MMA default lineups. In other words, lineups that are built very aggressively, but only with the guys that I like. You know, what you end up, by the way, doing is playing the most of the players, most of the fighters you like without playing the main event, pretty much, or without playing the five round fights. So let's pick the top. Well, I was going to say the top 18. We might end up having to play more because some of those might have already been used, but let's just take a look. So let's just take the top 18 of these and let's just see if we already have those somewhere in that dupe file. So we're going to, oh, we're going to copy that. And then we're going to move those 18 over here. Boom. And let's again run uh, the remove duplicate lineups thing and see now how many uniques we have or unique lineups we have. Let's see what we got. Ooh, only one duplet, dupe. So we have a full 149 lineups. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put these in. Oops. And we just literally have one more lineup that we have to handle. And, and, and then I'm going to review what we did here, okay? And and listen, as you guys know, if you've been watching these videos for me, this is not always the way I play. I mean, it depends on my feeling of the slate of how I handle Sabersim and what, you know, how aggressive I want to be. Um, I just feel as though you're supposed to be pretty aggressive this week. So let's uh, put all those in. I mean, these go, all go into my 150s. And the cool thing is, and I know, nobody knows what I have because I don't know what I have. Um. And then we save those. We'll upload this into here. And this we're gonna see. And we'll, what we'll do is we're gonna see the um, the dupes I have because we'll be able to see that in the uh, in the DraftKings lineup. So upcoming, like for example, like here, like here, which which are the which are the dupes? This one no. Uh, oh, so I have no. Oh, so I just used one of the other lineups that I had. So there's one stray lineup that I did not build in this, in this, uh, in this thing, and I'll, I guess I'll just live with that. Um, but that's the way I that's the way I continue to experiment. Uh, remember what we did? We 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 used projections. We ran the sims. We did everything, but then we tried to figure out how aggressive we wanted to be. So we played fifty using MMA default, which again, you know, don't try this at home. Um, and I'm sure if I looked at my builds, I'm not going to like who I have, but uh, you know, chaos doesn't care who I like, <laughs> you know? Um, and, uh, and, uh, then we did some lineup constructions where we, where we played quote unquote, the hashtag best plays, but left money on the table. And, uh, then we finished it off by playing a set of lineups going back to the MMA default to play the quote unquote good plays. So that's pretty much it. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. Good luck, everybody.